Do not students take what they learn from their teachers? What then if the teacher is wrong? Does that not simply perpetuate these wrong teachings amongst future generations? You assume the students aren't wise enough to understand the flaws of the teacher. Think of those who came before us. First Thales, then his student Anaximandros, and then Anaximenes. Without the teachings of those before him, it's safe to say Anaximenes would not have reached the conclusions he did. I don't think that's true at all. Oh, perhaps this new phase can offer a different perspective. I didn't hear a single thing you just said. Is that so? Well, let me simplify it quickly. Thalys taught Anaximandros, who taught Anaximenes. Wouldn't you agree that students learn from the failings of their teachers? I've never heard the names you just mentioned. It's never too late to learn. But even so, one doesn't need to know who they are to answer. Is it not a risk? that wrong ideas will be passed along if a student doesn't have the wisdom to seek the truth. If we listen to others and take what they say as fact, we only have ourselves to blame. So, no matter who is speaking, student or teacher, we must spend time trying to understand if what they say is even true. Your appearance betrays you, Mystius. Clearly, you've taken on a teacher of your own. Something like that is the reason I'm here. Socrates needs your help. Socrates? Ha! If it's another debate you want, it will be hard for us to decide who hates that man more. Why would we help him? You can either help him, or I can show you that I'm not a mystios only in looks. I didn't realize Socrates taught his students to harm those who disagree with them. I'm a different student than you're used to. We wouldn't stand a chance against you in a fight. But that doesn't mean we will do what you say through threat of violence. You've been an interesting part of the conversation thus far. So we will give you another chance. Why should we help Socrates? It doesn't matter if he's your worst enemy. If they're willing to imprison someone like Socrates only for his words, what's to say they won't do the same to you? So, you want us to help out of fear of being imprisoned ourselves? I don't care why you help. If I hadn't said his name, would you think it was right Socrates was locked up? If it's as you say, and it was for his words, then no. And aren't you afraid it could happen to you too? Of course. 
If we can't speak our minds, what else are we to do? If you believe that, then you should help. Fine, fine. You've made your point, and you've made it well. Socrates deserves our help, but we don't give it lightly. That makes it worth even more. We'll be on our way, then. We'll gather some others as well. Make sure our voices are heard. Believe it or not, we're pretty good at causing a scene. If you're like Socrates, that's not hard to believe. Wow, I've never seen someone convince them so easily before. Is that so? I guess I should feel proud. I'm surprised to see a child here. Is there an age at which it would suddenly be okay to debate with them? What then of the night before I turn that age? Should we be prevented from doing what we wish due to the world's view of us? I can't even have a normal conversation with a child. Normal is no fun. Look around. Everyone here wants the same thing. Headaches? Debate! You're the first kid I've met who'd rather debate than play. Don't tell the others, but I'm envious that you're a student of Socrates. I hope one day to be as well. You're on the right path. What's your name? Aristocles. Although I've never liked that name much. It does sound like countless others I've heard around Athens. Why not choose another? I can do that? Huh. My brother always had a problem saying my name, so he called me Plato instead. Perhaps I'll use that. I like it. Thank you. Well, I better hurry after the others. Kere! Pafsis, Lego. Adi konesti! 